What's up you guys? It is a new day, a new vlog, a new vlog with your favorite girl with pink hair. You already know how it is and if you don't know that just means that you are not subscribed so be sure to subscribe down below. Click that notification bell so you never miss another video with the girl with the pink hair. Okay, today is a long awaited video that everyone has been asking for. I am making this a video for everyone that wants to do their nails at home because we all know the and these days we need to kind of do everything at home nowadays because you already know everything so i'm gonna show you guys how i achieve my bedazzled long nails long chola nails at home okay also you guys everything that i use in this video will be linked down below probably not like every single nail polish obviously but just whatever i can link down below i will link down below especially the most important things i will link down below like the nails that i get and then like a lot of the nail polishes i do get from amazon and the glue i get from amazon and just look down there and everything will just be down there so okay Okay, so first, I get this from Amazon. These are the nails that I use, and these are the best. And these are pretty long, so if you see me with, if you see me with nails, like the nails that I, I only wear these nails, so the length that you see me with, these are the nails, and it comes with, a, ooh, nine different sizes, and they're clear, which I like that they're clear because whatever nail polish you color it will just show on the bottom and yeah so let's get to it so my file just the top of my nails just like this just to kind of like for the glue to kind of like grab onto okay don't mind my nail broke right here okay so just don't look at that but anyways yeah so just kind of like file it a little bit and just put something for the glue to grab onto don't judge okay this is my secret you can get this at Home Depot or you can get this in, in Amazon. This is Gorilla Glue. I know a lot of people are going to be like, what the girl, what the, why are you using Gorilla Glue? But girl, it's not as, it's really strong. It very, it's actually very strong, but it's not as strong as you think, okay? If you actually don't file your nails before you put the glue, it will, it will probably fall off like the next day. So that's why I file my nails just for something the, so something that the glue can hold on to and then it will usually last for probably a good week um, but sometimes if one does fall off I do just I always have glue on hand to re-glue my nails so but yeah just like that and there's step one honestly this gorilla glue is the best nail it's, i mean it's not nail glue but it's the best for your nails i'm just gonna say okay if you're scared to use gorilla glue don't use it but i've just been using this glue for so long that it's just the best that with this gorilla glue there's also a super glue and then there's like a super glue gel. I'll get the blue one. I think the gel is like a green. I'll link this exact one that I get down below. Um, Cause sometimes that's uh, that's where I will get it. But if Anthony is already at Home Depot, like getting something for the house, I'll just have him get one. You know, for just since he's there already. Let me do these rest of these nails, and then I will be right. Alright guys, so I have, I just put on all my nails and they're all on, all glued and everything. I, once you are done putting your nails on, there's going to be like little, you probably won't even be able to see it right here, but there's going to be like little like white things on the tip of your nails. You're going to want to file down like just a little bit, just so those little like, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what else to call them, but like pico things, that's all I know. <laughs> like a little like just like a little pico thing at the top i don't know what you even call these all right so once you're done filing down your nails just a little okay because we still want them to be long just a little so this is always a tough tough part on what color i actually want to paint my nails um let me actually show you guys like what i'm working with here so this is my whole like nail box and these are all of my colors let me choose what color i'm gonna do and then i'll be right back 
Alright guys, so I'm back. So I ended up going with, I'm just gonna do a light pink today because I'm kind of feeling this color. It's a really light baby pink. I got this at Target. It's the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. These nail polishes are really good and I think they're only like two something. They're like two dollars and like something, you know, whatever. This is 199 Tickled Pink. I'm just going to kind of bring you guys down just so you can kind of see. And this is the the top of my nail box that I use to paint on top of because obviously I make a mess while painting my nails. And just if I like want to rub the brush on anything, I just rub it on the top. Okay, I'm going to show you guys how I do one hand and I'll probably speed up um, how I do the other one only because I... Don't want this video to be so long. Okay, guys, so I've been super into doing two different colors on my hands. So I think I'm going to do pink and white. Okay, let me do the second coat, and then I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I am back, and I did the second coat to my nails, so I usually wait, like, maybe a minute or two minutes to um, put the clear coat, but let me show you guys what clear coat I use because it is literally the best clear coat that I have found so far and trust me I have used so many clear coats and this is literally the best one and I will link this exact one down below you guys okay is the best this is the Sally Hansen no Sally Hansen insta dry top coat and it looks like this I don't know if you can get it at Target or Walmart or anything. I haven't seen it over there. I don't know. I'm going to show you guys how fast this dries because it dries so fast. And I already know us mommies on the go that, you know, we can't take 30 minutes overnight for our nails to dry because when we paint our nails, we need to use our hands right after So. Drink a sip of your wine. Okay, guys, so now comes the designing. You could either leave it like this. You don't have to do anything to it. You could just do this, walk away, and you are good to go because even just like this, this is so cute, and you can just be done. If you know me, I need to do a little bit of extra, okay, because I'm extra in this. Well, every single thing that I'm going to show you guys, I got from Amazon except for these butterfly stickers. These butterfly stickers I got from Shop Inspo Nails on Instagram. And these also I got from Shop Inspo Nails on Instagram. It's like Louis Vuitton stickers, butterfly stickers, and I think that's pretty much it. White Louis Vuitton, colored Louis Vuitton, and then like butterfly stickers on there these I got from Amazon these are like colorful rhinestones which I need to get more because obviously I'm like already out these I got from Amazon because and these are like gold rhinestone like not rhinestones gold little like gems I guess that can go on your nails and then these are the actual rhinestones that I use these are the best once again I will leave you, link everything down below Alright guys, so I'm going to start designing my nails, but I'm going to show you guys like what I just do first. I'm going to bring you back down. Okay. And I always need to start with the rhinestones first because just in case, like, if I don't want to do stickers, like if I like the way they came out with just the rhinestones, then I won't put stickers, but, you know. And get this. This is the um, pen that picks up your rhinestones and everything because you know it's pretty hard i'm gonna use the same glue 
that I use to put my nails on, but be very careful, okay? Be very careful on putting this. You guys can, of course, use a different nail, uh, you guys can use like a nail glue, but I just prefer to use this one because I never have a problem. And just depending on like what kind of design you guys want to do, this have like, this has every single, like there's, I think about 10, or was it? There is, oh, 12 different size rhinestones. So um, I just pretty much already know what kind of size I want to use. So I'm gonna go for number three. Alrighty guys, so just like the last video that I did, this is pretty much the same, but I, just like a quicker way, I do the same. So I'll put a little rhinestone here. Look at that, how fast this is okay and just like that and it dries really quick so you have to be very careful i think with this one i think i'm just gonna put a rhinestone on every nail today These rhinestones did not come with each other. I had to buy these separately off of Amazon, but remember I will link these all down below so that you guys can get your hands on them. Um, but my favorite ones are these bad boys right here. And I usually only put these little rhinestones on my middle finger and my thumb because these are pretty big, even though they look kind of tiny on camera. These are pretty big and they do stand out a lot. So I feel like if I put them on any other finger, um, it just looks too big. So I'll put a little dabble and a little dabble. There you go. Cute already. Alright guys, so since I have done that, I'm going to put this aside and bring this one back. And I'm going to get one that's smaller. So since we got number three, I'm going to go for one today. Just being a little, just being a little modest. Little double, little double. And there you go and of course you guys can just do whatever design you want I'm just doing just kind of like what's easiest to me and this is just oh and it's gonna look like this cute 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 and you're gonna for me I like to kind of choose like what kind of stickers that I like and since I have white nails and there are some like white Louboutin Louis Vuitton stickers in here. Here's the white Louis Vuitton stickers. Since I have pink on this side, I think I'm gonna use the white ones because I feel like it'll be, look really good. You have to just be very careful with it and take it off kind of slowly like this. And then just kind of place it. Actually, I think I'm gonna put on my pointy finger maybe. Um, and just kind of place it like where you want it. I think I want this one to be straight across. And just press it down. There you go. And there you go. And we are going to put um, clear coat on wherever we put stickers at. Remember, don't mind all of this um, uh, nail polish right here on your skin. I usually just leave it and then later tonight or the next day I usually just wash my hands. And it literally just comes off with water like as you wash your hands. So I just don't really worry about that. That's, that's, that's good out there. Cute. I'm going to do some clear coat. And there you go, you guys. I just put the clear coat on um, the three fingers. I put the stickers, my pinky, my ring, and my pointing finger. And here's my thumb. You can always go back and do clear coat on like your your rhinestones and everything. That would be, um, it kind of protects them also and it makes them like extra shiny. All right, guys, so I'm actually gonna add the stickers to this hand um, right now and then I will be back. I just don't want this to be too repetitive, so. I'll show you guys the completed look. 
all right guys so that is it and this is the end result i'll kind of let you take a peek this is my left hand with the pink so cute the louis vuitton sticker here the louis vuitton stickers here and then you can barely see this one my pinky but so cute it says louis vuitton going down so cute looks so cute and then here's this one the white and then i ended up doing like a uh, hot pink because I ran out of I didn't have any more of the red so um, here's red Louis Vuitton here with some design here uh, this is a hot pink one with like little red ones here and then this is like a light pink going down so I guess it's kind of okay red hot pink light pink I don't know but super cute you guys all right guys so that is the end of the video I hope you guys enjoyed I hope that I gave you guys some type of input on how to do nails. Like I said, I will link everything down below. So um, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already so that you never miss. Oh, sorry. And click that notification bell because YouTube be messing everybody up out here so that you never miss another video with a girl with the pink hair, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Billy. Oh.